Yes, hello, it's Will from Magic the Friendly Fa uh, Friendly Tavern on Facebook, and today we're playing a little commander on the MTGO client, or Moto as it's known. Uh, so sit back, uh, we'll go ahead and wait a little bit and see if we get a fourth player. If not, we'll start with these two other players for a three-game, three-person game. Not a big deal. Uh, just doing a little recording, seeing if I can't get this on YouTube today. Uh, see if y'all like commander. Uh, content because my arena content is not doing so well so this is where we're at we're trying different things just you know going out there making different content different different forums different media um can't really say much more than that um let me go ahead and start this game off so that we can get to our map Yes, I would like to play first. And I always greet my table. I find it keeps people at the table and keeps them from being mean. So you will see me do that. Mm, I do not like that. Eh, eh, this hand doesn't do anything. Maybe it will develop. We do have a taxi and probe. <laughs> and call me a chair because I said table. All right, and then. What commanders are we against? We're against Orvar, which I have not got to see yet, and Warkthar. And Tiger would like to say greetings to the crowd. That's great. Let's see what we got going on here. This hand didn't do anything. It has a Fluster Storm, a Git Probe, a Chromox, and a Talisman. There's a counter spell. Uh, we'll just slap more people into play. Um, look at what Rodan's doing. With our key probe. Mmm, you got that spell shock again. And Fendor Elves, okay. Oh, we got a Vamp Pooter. That's, that's juicy. That'll get us started. Yes, yes, okay. Not a problem. I'm already starting to formulate plans. Uh, maybe we can go for an Isochron Scepter. Uh, seems kind of weird, but, you know, we got the, the two rocks. We get another rock plus the Isochron Scepter. You know, we start netting infinite mana. We still need another piece. I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and turn bluffing off. Ugh. That way, you know, it'll it'll pass faster through the turn and stuff. I don't need to bluff. Either I'll have it or I won't. Morbald taps his man and doesn't appear to do anything with it. That's, that's normal, though. That's to let it pass by faster. I'll play Verdict Catacombs, and we'll play Mana Vault. This is shaping up pretty good. Uh, we could Chrome Mox and get rid of one of our cards here, but I think we'll hold off on doing that. Mmm, it's gonna, ooh, make us to the moon. Oh, that's rough.
How do I get rid of it is the question. How do I get rid of it? That's not going to work. Uh, I was thinking about getting like a Doxy Deluge or something. Try and get it off of there. Um, hmm. Have to exile, but we need to find a white source. That's the problem. So I'm thinking we'll just grab Sakonic Rift. Let it resolve. We do have a talisman here. Oh, I could have got Toxic Deluge. That would have worked. Okay. No problem. I still think we're going to be okay. Uh, I could just Cyclonic Rift it out of play if I have to. Orbar not doing much, but that's okay. Now we don't need to pay for the Mana Bolt right now. There's the Rift. Um, oh, we could have put Tobin's Veto on there and had White and then used Path. That's fine. That actually makes no sense to me. Now I'm really wishing I would have done something different with that tutor. But that's okay. I was thinking on the spot and I thought I was under more pressure than I thought. Manglehorn? Buddy, really? Okay. We're going to have to set him back some mana for that. We're going to have to punish that behavior. This is terrible for us. Hmm. That's okay. Rourke Thar needs you need to see how an anti an anti combo deck works. And Rourke Thar is really good at anti combo. As you can see the hate pieces. Well hate bears in green and red. Orbar still not doing anything. Alrighty then. Go ahead and play City of Brass. We'll play Talisman. Come in and play Tap. That's fine. I never complain. I'm never salty. Because y'all know that. If you ever watch my videos or write any of my articles, I'm not a salty player. I've I lost for the first 10 years. I've played Magic every game. I've pretty much lost. So that kind of took the saltiness out of me. I've just I've, I've lost so much that it, it doesn't really mean anything anymore. Hmm. 
Well, I'd like to see more Orbor's deck and see what they're up to. It didn't look like it's going to happen with what's going on here. This is a pretty lax casual game. Everybody's talking to each other in chat and having fun. They know, they're aware I'm a recording too. Ooh, Time Twister. Nice. Ooh. I use a fresh seven. Oh, yeah. There we go. That counters for days, and now I have power artifacts, so we have part of a combo going. Oh, yeah, I was waiting on Spell Shock Trigger. Mm. Well, what do we got coming down? Rourke Thar? On a shaman. Interesting. Hmm. Tiger said they're a casual player with a war bar deck, but Time Twister is not a casual card. But they haven't really done anything besides Time Twister, so yeah. And we already knew Rourke Thar was budget, because uh, me and um, Rodan have been talking. Um. But his deck is kind of like an anti-CEDH deck, which makes him be able to be competitive. So it's pretty interesting. That hurt. That hurt a lot. I'll never be able to cast a room with that. But we're just looking at the Grim Monolith Power Artifact angle right here. So, we just got that going for us.
Mm-hmm, here comes Orgor. Once I have two blue sources up, which I won't, oh, Grim Monolith does not untap. We will have to keep that in mind. We could do that. We could do that. Okay, so we go. No, we can't. We're still one blue source short. That talisman hit was really good for us, taking us off double blue. And here comes work for himself. Now looks like it's going to get countered by our opponent. Something. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me try and dispel something here. I don't know creatures for the past so just like we are. We can't counter that anyways. And Tiger's out. GG Tiger GG. And we'll taint a pack. What are we taint a packing for? Oh boy. Um, we're going to have to get a deluge. <clears throat> Monic Constellation? No. Actually, Prime Ox would have worked here. What is that, nine? 
Eight on cast. He's got us though, I think. Man, I think he's got us. I'm just going to run out the power artifact, though, to show him how close he was anyways. Oh, I can't. <laughs> LOL. Right. Manglehorn. That's okay. We never had it. <laughs> Alright, sorry for all the typing in the chat and stuff like that and taking up so much time and then losing the game, but that's how it is. Uh, again, my name is Will from Magic the Friendly Tavern on Facebook. Come down and see us. I got an article coming out today. It's going to be really, really hot. It's going to be really good. Uh, if not, check out some of, our re or check out some of my uh, YouTube videos. I'm sometimes on other social media as well. I have a Twitter. I have... Um, uh, TikTok. I have an Instagram, um, but mainly I'm on Facebook. So if you don't mind, come and see us. Happy pack pulls, and as always, happy games.